Hey guys, in the October kits this month I have created a fun little off the page project. So we got this uh, cut apart sheet of tags and I did use two of the tags on the previous layout but that's okay because it's still left two rows of three where I kept them connected and just trimmed down the edges to make sure that they look like tags and we don't have any of that negative space. So just cutting that down and making sure that I need as possible. I'm not the perfect cutter, but try not to be um, careless about it at all. So there we go. And I'm just going to get out my paper trimmer. And I'm going to use that in a bone tool to f crease the edges of the tags. You could definitely just fold it yourself without creasing it with the boner. But I found that this was just a lot easier and I had it at hand. Anyway, so you can see there I fold them up and then I can, you can see both sides. The whole, the good thing about this cut apart sheet is that there's tags on both sides with different patterns, which means that um, you can get a variety of what's going on. So I'm going to make a little tag booklet and I'm going to add them together in the middle. So I'm just going to add some double-sided tape that I fold down over one side and then fold to the other side as a join. And over that I'm going to add the yellow little branding strip that I cut off the paper. So that is going to cover that join. It's going to make it strong but also prettier than just um, nothing I guess or double-sided tape I guess is what I'd use. I didn't have an appropriate washi so I didn't bother with that but if you did that's definitely a very easy way to do it. So you can see here the book opens up and has lots of spaces because you've got the front side and then the back side. I'm going to put some hole punches through the tag holes and then I will later put some ribbon, some twine, all different pieces through those to add some extra texture and points of interest. I'm going to use some yellow twine and the blue twine and just together so that I can tie the book up and hold it together without it all falling open and losing its um, integrity. So I did cut that too long so I go in and adjust the, the bow to my liking and then cut down the threads. I'm just going to add some quick embellishments. I haven't printed photos to go with this project and I'm not sure what it would be at the moment but it'd be very easy to add some small little photos a few on each page or one on each page and just have a play with it that way so just going to um, use some of the generic little phrases and some of the die cuts to add and embellish so there we go adding some hearts just drawn straight onto the tag There we go. It's very easy to, to just draw some hearts so we can work with that really nicely. And then I'm going to add some flowers and some leaves. I do decide think about putting it there but then I thought I'm, it's better off putting the a photo there. And in fact I am just going to work on a little bit of embellishment. I'm not going to do full embellishing of the tags because I want to make sure I have freedom to add photos where I want but also add some journaling or add some more embellishments because I'll be able to use the you know the goodies that are in the kit when I get to making the project. I really like these little circle phrase figures. I really am liking circle embellishments actually. So the, you know I've become a sucker for them. So I've chucked this butterfly and this phrase circle here but unfortunately I do have to move it because I realize when I go to make the other side of the tags that I've put two overlapping pieces off the tags and they um, butt into each other when you fold it the different way. I'm adding a just a cut out heart that I've just cut from the pattern paper just to add some of this yellow to the page outlining it with the pen just so that it does sit well so here's where I realized that that butterfly and that 
circle piece are getting in the way to folding this side. I'm just going to add a little bit of pieces, bits and pieces here and put that on that little join of paper to make sure that it looks like um, you know the start of embellishment clusters and then I'm going to tie it back up and work on uh, the front page. I don't know why I tied it again because I do end up taking it off finishing this off and then tying it up. So I'm going to use two of these little, two, they're not little, these big leaves and that takes up a lot of space, adds a good pop of colour and then I've got this little thicker sheet, thicker piece that sits perfectly down the bottom and is like the title of my tag book. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video today and feel inspired to create. Have a good day guys.